So be careful of how you give people your documents, how you relate with people about your document. Now, dog, where they say shit for a mouth, now they chop shit. Every country have fraudsters. So guys, be careful, do not trust anybody. Hello beautiful people, you're welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Precious to God TV. If this is your first time of coming across my channel, you are highly welcome and thank you very much for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell button for more videos for you to watch, okay? And as for my OGs, my old subscribers, you are all welcome. God bless you guys. In fact, you guys are the reason why I keep making more videos. I love you guys so much. You are all welcome. Please don't forget to like this video as you're watching this video. I like, I love you guys so much. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you can learn. So you have to learn. I mean, you have to just learn. It's very, very important. You have to learn and be very careful. So today's video is all about your, I mean, it's all about documents. As you have seen, um, as you have seen on the topic today, so it's all about document being taken away from the person, from the owner, okay? I know you guys are, you might have been thinking that, oh, maybe, <laughs> yeah, I got you there, okay? I got you there. So the story goes like this. Today's video, it's all about, I mean, telling you a story, a true life story, you know, someone, a friend of mine, it happened to a friend of mine. It's not that it's someone I don't know. It happened to a friend of mine. So I want to say this, Fraud is everywhere. Fraud stars, uh, fraud stars are everywhere. That they are everywhere. It's not only is all. It's not only in Africans. It's not only in Africa you see fraud fraudsters. It's not only uh, in Nigeria they have fraudsters or Ghana or whatever. No, fraudsters are everywhere. They have fraudsters in Asian country, Europe, America. Everywhere they are everywhere. Okay, so most of us that are having the mind sense that oh Africans are these Africans are that nine. I mean the highest fraudsters you can ever imagine imagine they are in all these arab countries sorry i mean so sorry to my so sorry to my arab friends i mean no harm but i just want to explain that frosters are everywhere it's not only in africans it's not only africans that are frosters frosters are actually everywhere so it goes like this the story goes like this that i mean she my a friend of mine have been going through a lot as in that that that's this started last year you know the whole vindication comes up this year. This study investigation started last year. It started last year. So this friend of mine, she wasn't in her house and her son, like her son, I mean the neighbor in the other side, they are from they are from Pakistan. Yeah, they are from Pakistan, if you understand. So the neighbor asked this her son always go to the neighbor to play with them. I mean they are they are in the same school you understand so and the neighbor they've not gotten this um document they've not gotten resident permit and all that permanent resident permit and all that so and she she newly got her document not not barely one year they gave her the document yeah i think yeah not barely one year they gave her the document you understand so she was so excited she told her neighbor they were so happy and then she made a party and everything so you understand being it that all of you came to seek an asylum and they gave you so you were just expressing your happiness towards your i mean having your resident permit with your fellow uh, asylum seekers you understand and you guys ate you drank you drank and everything that is the reason why you i mean that is the reason why they know like some of you will be saying how did she know that she have something like that That's and that was what gave her the authority to actually ask for her document. You understand? So after the whole celebration, after I think about, so I think two months or so, yeah, two months into the celebration. And then the son of this, my friend, always go to the neighbor to play. They are in the same school, like I said before. And the mother asks the, the son to come to her mother and take her mother's, uh, um, that tell her mother to her mother to snap her document and you know take her mother's document and snap that she wants to show her sister in berlin the kind of documents they give to her you understand that she wants to show her sister that is in another city called berlin you know she now that my friend she being innocent of this whole thing but at first i blamed her you know when i blamed her but in the other hand i did not blame her so much because she did not expect such thing you understand 
so and then the son came our mommy they want to see the kind of they said they want to see the kind of documents they gave to us and all that so that she snapped it. so she snapped it and sent it to the neighbor i think she snapped it and sent it all that the neighbor collect she gave it to her son or her, her son snapped it um the neighbor snapped it or something like that something like that anyway but not really very sure what really happened but that is how it goes so they took the document and then i think they came back for the second time after taking the snap the snap of the document and that. they sent the son again back the son was busy playing with them upstairs there in their own apartment you understand they sent the son back the innocent boy back oh the woman sent the son back say okay go and get the document for your mommy we didn't get the snap very well we didn't get the shot very well my sister said she didn't see the yeah um, this the snap very clearly you understand so the boy being an innocent young boy small boy doesn't know what is happening just rushed down mommy they said i should bring the document again and the mommy now shouted and the senior brother that was in the house like now shouted on him what do you mean by that although they didn't know I mean, the woman was, was like, ah, which one is that? I should give them my document again. So she called me. So before she called me, she has already given them that first snap. So I now shout at her. I say, hey, why do you have to give them your document? Don't you know that you're, this is very risky? It's just like, I mean, it's just like giving someone your, your date of birth. Your date of birth in Europe is your number one secret. If you go to any, any I mean, there is no play if you someone can use your date, date of birth for fraud yes someone can use your date of birth for so many things in europe because the value is just like a secret code just like your date of birth is your secret code you understand so i screamed i was like my god what kind of mistake is this why do you have to do this and she was like she doesn't and she told me she don't know she don't know that i said this is very bad i never knew that this was going to as in come to the level of the level of being using your own document to commit a crime you understand so and the months passed we thought it's a joke and all that my goodness well after two months not knowing that i think the woman the woman's husband has been de deported to pakistan you understand this their neighbors um their neighbor's husband has been deported to pakistan just he just left because uh she separated with her husband so the husband has been deported maybe is their plan or something i don't know not knowing that this lady actually take the snapshot of this this woman's document this woman is actually a nigerian that followed this victim not knowing that this party pakistan lady took this document snap it and take it send it to her husband in pakistan to cut the to cut the whole long story short this document they have been using it to bring to do illegal business to bring people in europe the man has been using this document down in in their home in pakistan to do illegal businesses like to make visa for people to bring to do a lot of things this ready them for me whereas this woman did not know anything she don't know what is she doesn't even know anything until the day the police came to her house to pick her up in tapo this one is she said she she pee on her body not that she almost pee she pee on her body when she see that the vehicle they used to come and pick her up she was she was so surprised when they came you know and she was like what did i do they, they said they want to question her the vehicle the kind of people that came to pick her she has never seen them in this life you know all this i don't even know if you have ever seen this interpol this international um in this international criminal just i mean criminal these people that always investigate uh crimes in europe if you see them they are very tall huge they don't smile always on dark glasses and when they come to pick her up with this black vehicle the tinted glass my dear she almost go to jail like where they take her to she went there underground and they interrogated her asking her if she collected money from these people by giving them her documents my guys i'm putting up the story i'm telling you guys this story so you should be very careful of who you give your document to very very careful of who you give your document to even if the person said snap it i want to see what do not snap do not snap Snap it out, send it to me. I want to see how. Do not snap.
They started interrogating, interrogating her, they took her there, they started interrogating her, they asked her a lot of questions and all that. And then they, they saw everything, she, the way she was performing, she was weeping, she was crying, like she doesn't even know what was going on, her body was shaking. And then after, I think they took her in the morning, 10 o'clock, they brought her back 6 o'clock in the evening. They were interrogating her for complete hours, my dear. And then they brought her back. They told her not to tell anybody. For six months or that, yeah, six or eight months, the, the case, they arrested the woman last month, the woman involved. This case started since last year. Let's say it's, it's more than six months, almost a year now. And the final arrest made to the woman last month. That is when she finally spoke to me and said everything the way it is. And I, she now said I should bring it out and tell people to be very careful. It took them six to eight, eight months to investigate these things. You understand? And then after the investigation, they sent her a letter that she's free from the charges they press against her. The charges of fraud and uh, whatever different charges, they sent her a letter. And then she sent the letter to me. She said that they sent her a letter. So I was the one that actually read the letter and I told her what they said, you understand? So she was so happy she was giving glory to God. And then the woman still lives in the apartment. They asked her not to tell anybody so that the woman will not escape. Not knowing that they are still investigating the woman, they pick up this woman last month and they took her four children from her. They took her, they took her four kids from her. They took her four, four kids from her. And they arrested her husband in Pakistan too. Interpol and arrested her husband. Her husband is in jail right now as I'm talking to you in Pakistan. And then they now took her for one month now. She has been in prison. You understand? And I heard that um she's she started having like a psychiatric problem and then they took her to the hospital, psychiatric hospital and all that. They took her four kids for her. So guys, the reason why I brought this story to this platform is to let you guys know that you should be very careful with your documents. Europeans don't do not. I mean, they, it depends on the anyway. It depends on the kind of documents they give they give to you. I don't think if they give to you, if they give you United Nations document, you can use it or something like that to bring up someone. I don't think so. But if the country, the German Germans themselves, give you documents, like stay, do not play with it. Anyone asks you, I want to check something in your document, please snap it and send it to me. Do not take to read. So be careful how you go about with your document is very very important how you do your things is very very important guys this fraudster of a thing fraud fraudster or whatever fraud is not only in africa it's everywhere in fact i think it's more in all this european country they say now nah, dog where they see shit for a mouth now nah, they chop shit so guys and that is all I have to tell you on this video. So make sure you keep your documents safe. Make sure you don't fall a victim of this. And that is the reason why this platform, why this platform aids on work. So thank you very much, guys. I love you guys so much. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys. See you next in my next 